All right, this morning we're at the Fresh Market. I'm gonna give this store a shot and see uh, see how much better quality meat is and vegetables. And just see how much better. I'm gonna make a cooking video here in a, in a bit. Just going to get some um, fresh fruit and berries for yogurt. Look at that uh, middle one. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the marbling in that. It's perfect. Oh, that'll be all. Hey, hey, I appreciate it. Hey, no problem. I'll give you a good one. All right, y'all too. All right, back home. Uh, show you what we're going to be working with. I got these little small potatoes. That way I ain't got to dice up a couple of big ones carrot sticks now I got the Brussels sprouts and the zucchini and squash right there that's for a side dish but onion bell pepper bone broth uh, there's some roasted garlic fresh and, and the celery and a nice big roast that's 2.2 pounds. Uh, I'm trying to get it to focus, focus in on. But yeah, it really looks nice. But I'm going to be using my crock pot here, so I'm going to get everything going. And oh, I almost forgot. And we got rice. Going to be using. All right, got to string off the roast. Salted peppered really good uh, got all the vegetables uh, bell pepper carrots uh, onion and the little potatoes and I uh, placed about five six teaspoons of uh, olive oil in my skillet and we're gonna sear it we're going to brown it on all sides for about a minute and a half a side. Then we're going to move it over to the crock pot and put some broth on it. And if you got a stove that's kind of not balanced, just make sure you keep putting that oil towards the middle. That way it don't get too dark. Alright, see how that side right there is browned? You're wanting to do this on all sides. See how it's nice and brown on top? About a minute and a half per side. Yeah, and what that does is it gives it a lot better flavor once you get it in the crock pot. I've really only got that raw side. And it only cooks maybe, oh, I don't know, an eighth of an inch down in, but the rest is raw. The rest is going to cook on low in here. All right. Ready to transfer over. Now we're going to add some already roasted garlic. Then we're going to add about a half cup 
of uh, beef broth. Yeah, maybe a little three quarters. And we'll start it out on high. Of course, we're not going to add our vegetables until it's about two hours from being done. Yeah, I like these little, you can just boil these in real butter and a little onion and black pepper and they're wonderful right out of the pot. I was surprised to see them. Well, while the uh, roast is in the crock pot, I'll show some of my new stuff. This right here. It's probably by far the most awesome thing somebody ever made for me. It's a railroad spike. And it's made into a hobo shoestring. Got my bucket. And he said the string on the back, the backpack is to signify a shoestring. But it's a railroad nail. Hobo shoestring. Really neat. And a train clock and another little small train. And then uh, have a six axle Conrail locomotive. It actually works. I hooked it up yesterday and Jesse James edition watch and some train books and some more train books and the DVDs I'm getting ready to put the vegetables in and a long time ago in a galaxy far far away Eric got me that for Christmas. And a good thing about riding trains in the winter time, uh, carrying meat in a container, you can keep it two, three days and it stays good. Natural refrigeration. So this will go good. I'm taking, taking with me tomorrow when I leave, get ready to put the veggies in, then gonna make some gravy for the for the rice once everything's done, and then I'm gonna, gonna uh, do the yellow squash, zucchini, and the Brussels sprouts, and I steam them. All right, check here. Try to keep steam off the lens. getting done a couple of more hours I'm just waiting on those uh, zucchini and uh, yellow squash and loads of pepper and sweet cream butter just waiting for to turn them on at the very end all right now for the rice I'm using basmati and usually I if I'm using say a half cup of rice I'll use a cup of water you just kind of double it but this basmati is a little different I just rinsed it once and I already have my butter salt and pepper in there and I'm using just slightly more like one cup and one eighth 
I'm just putting it in the rice cup so I don't dirty two cups and or I mean uh, make sure I get all the rice out now once that gets boiling I'll stir that butter all around real good and I'll put the lid on it and you do not want to leave the lid up off even once or twice I just leave the lid on until it completely cooks you'll see little holes where the air comes up and I usually go maybe five or seven five to seven minutes uh, after I see them little holes then turn it off and just let it sit there and then I'll get those heating up in about an hour that way everything's hot and fresh and done and Let's see, I'm trying to balance that lid over here. Uh, everything, whoa, got my lens all foggy. Oh yeah, the fork went right in that roast. Nice. Yeah, I'm hitting it that hard and it's going in. So, that's, actually it's probably done now. And after I'm done, I'll chill it. And, uh... I'll chill everything and then put it in one of my Rubbermaid containers. Uh, that way I can take it in my bucket in the morning. I'll just set it down in there, already cold. And I got my water bottle. Someone sent me a big metal container, but it's a little too heavy to be bringing around. I thought it would uh, be nice for the road, but uh, I do use it sometimes as around like local activities where I'm not carrying it that much. But anyway, uh, I'll show you the rice when it's done. I got some shelves uh, on Amazon just to display my trains. Now there's a cool Guilford Railroad crummy and a couple of grainers and sorry there's not as much light over here there's my six wheel or six axle conrail unit i was going to leave track underneath them to display them but as you can see it kind of looks tacky on each end uh, then in here see a sec chessie see them a little better than uh, the other camera and I got me a sticker decal for the mirror I was doing laundry right now but I want to show a subscriber sent me a hat identical to the one I had uh, I just couldn't find them from the place I normally buy them and it's got a top in it finally and my old one right here it was really starting to <laughs> see some wear so I'm just retiring that for right now I can get it to retire. Another thing I wanted to show, these tobacco cans, they are perfect for keeping, I keep my headphones in them. Now, the other ones I keep smaller stuff like hat pins and a couple of patches, railroad patches in. So those will be going. And here's that, uh, what Carla and the boys got me for Christmas. A little steam jet comes out and you put these little oils in it. Flavors the air and that really does help. Uh, but when you feel it sleepy, you got to take advantage of it right then. So I like to lay down within that first 20 minutes. Yeah, somebody sent me a cool... Uh, calendar
and Matt sent me a Northern Ohio railroad map. It's pretty neat. It shows a lot of short lines too. And while while the roast is getting done, I gotta check my clothes. See, they're getting there. Another 15 minutes. Uh, getting ready. Getting all my clothes and stuff washed. Uh, taking what I absolutely only need. I'm only taking my uh, necessity stuff for a shorter trip. So I have my other pack. I'm not going to take the molly this time. I don't want to overdo it. But. All right. Of course I have to take the lid off the show. You see them little holes? Those holes that are about half, maybe inch apart? Well, that's... Uh, I usually give it about seven minutes when I first start seeing them. Then I take turn the heat off. Now, come in here and look at the rice. Of course I have to take the lid off to look now. All right, see them little holes that are like an inch apart? Well, that's where the air escapes. So I usually give it another seven minutes when I first see those. And while I, once my water boils when I first start doing rice, I uh, turn it down to low or simmer. Just enough to boil it. You don't need any higher temperature than that. Uh, that's... That's kind of all one day or two days with shoestring. I'm always staying active. Keep your mind off the negative. If you use the word might, like I might go on a diet. I might start jogging. I might cuss less. Well, that means you can do it. Uh, so <laughs> I'm trying to avoid that word might. But the roast is done, so I'm going to take it all out, put it in the refrigerator, and get it ready for tomorrow. Fixing to turn these babies on. Get that butter and salt and pepper mixed in. Alright, I am hitting the road here in about 12 hours. So, I might can get a... Uh, uh, video up by Wednesday, but this is kind of like a variety mix video here that you're watching. Alright, I'll see everybody in Wednesday or Thursday. Everybody remember these? Look, look, the pilot jumped out. The pilot jumped out. Oh God, did he have a parachute? No, he just, the thing just, Do you want to hold the camera while I show him how to wind it up? Everybody old school remembers these. Ah, oh, that's enough. You ready to? No, not ready. Yeah. Cool. And the super glider we all had in the 70s, we just got to put some duct tape and glue the wings. They keep coming out on impact. I don't fly, I'm ready. I'm not ready. Make sure you straighten the wing a little. Yeah, I think it's good enough. You ready, Brandon? Oh, yeah. Let them go at the same time. You 
All right. One, two, three. Oh, that one went pretty far. Still spinning. Why do I do things first? Oh, because you don't have a pilot. Yeah, it doesn't have a pilot, so it... There's no gas. But, but it, that, that one doesn't have a pilot either. Oh, you don't. Okay. Neither does the styrofoam one. Alright. Yeah, you'll be up on that hill. <laughs> they ought to call these destroyers for real. They destroy everywhere. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I got that baby really wound. Uh, well, heads up. Still spinning. I don't know why this one keeps disintegrating. It's a real bomber or destroyer because it destroys itself. Ugh. They always, every time they run into something, the wings come out. We can put some kind of pins in it or some kind of glue. You like them? Yeah. You ever seen them before? No. We used to get them at the hardware store when I was your age. Is this good? Yeah, do, roll it where it starts doubling and then rolling into another row. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it right now. Alright. I, I feel like car go. Okay. <laughs> you can do it. You don't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you didn't want to chop the car up? <laughs> Alright. Uh. Is this. This is the first time it did not weigh on the wheel. Alright, ready? That's right. Hold on, that's so uneven. Wait, wait, it, 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 if I do that so much and I hold on the back, would it, it, would it go on the two wheels? Would it climb me away? It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we could have recorded that one you good one you did. Oh yeah. Oh, it stalled out. Uh, oh, it's still landed though. The unpiloted it's version. Still, it's still landed though. Yep. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. I went two extra steps, but no. I hear a cat. I'm a dog. <laughs> Yeah, my butt's on fire. Wait, did, did you, <laughs> <laughs>